Yo, what's up guys? You're back with Technic and today we're doing something slightly different with the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro. We have looked at the specs and the camera and the hardware and done some multiple speed tests, but today it's all about that fingerprint sensor since you're gonna be unlocking it using that method about 200 times a day. So I think it's really important. We're gonna do some really different tests here, including oily fingers, regular fingers, fingers when they are very hot and fingers when they are very cold and more importantly, fingers when they are wet in those rainy days. Guys, this is Tech Nick. I'm really excited to see how this pans out and without further ado, let's go. So we're gonna be starting out here with a brief overview of the device, including that screen protector that we have on from Xiaomi. We've gone ahead and deleted the fingerprints and the facial recognition data. It says that you shouldn't use a screen protector, but this is the one that actually came on the phone itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it since most of you guys will leave it on. We have added in our thumb and our index finger and we're gonna be running two sets for each thing that we do. We're gonna start with just regular use and we're gonna do best out of 10 here. So I must say it takes quite a long time to unlock each and individual, each and every Every single individual time uh, it takes about a second like a solid second maybe a few milliseconds more than that I've seen a lot faster from other phones such as the realme x2 pro and the oneplus 7t they're really quick especially vivo vivo were the inventors of the under display optical reader fingerprint sensors so they are extremely quick they're on like their eighth generation now Xiaomi are lagging behind here when it comes to speed and in the first run we got 9 out of 10 so it wasn't perfect all the time it was a bit slow but we got pretty close to 10 now I have sped up the second part of each and every individual take here. So you can see over there on the top right hand corner, this is 200%, this is actually sped up, where previously we did 100%, uh, that was real time. So we're just gonna speed through here, I don't wanna keep you guys here all day. And the next part we're gonna be focusing on is our oily little fingers here. So I'm gonna be running my fingers through these little crisps over here and this chocolate to get them really, really nice and greasy. I've never done a test like this before, guys. I've had a few requests. Thought it would be really interesting to test that before I get the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and start doing comparisons with that device. So with my oily fingers, so far two and nothing, three and nothing, I cannot get into the phone. I'm gonna go ahead and just shake my fingers around here and try get some of the grease off of my fingers and it worked that time. So I opened it that time, second time as well, we got a second point there out of 10, third time as well, a little bit slower, actually sometimes a little bit snappier than we were using it without any grease. So this is for the those Netflix lovers who just get their fingers all nice and greasy when chomping down some food. You guys want to unlock your brand new Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro and you want to see if your greasy fingers can actually unlock the device. Well they can and they didn't do the best job in the first run but this 200% sped up run just to see how it goes with the index finger is proving to be a lot better now that we have some of the grease off our fingers and you will probably rub them off. We're using some hand sanitizer to get the phone nice and clean for the next run. This is going to be all about heat so I'm going to be using this candle here to heat up my fingers. Did get quite hot I burnt my finger once or twice there uh, but we aren't gonna have any issues this time around it seems to be doing a good job once again just a little bit slow this is running at hundred percent so real time what you guys are seeing is what I saw when I initially recorded the clip here so there is nothing sped up here and I must say it's not slowed down either it is takes quite a while to get into the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro. Obviously, that is not the same when it comes to facial recognition, but that is 2D, so it is not very secure. You can actually use a picture to open up your device with that. We don't have the 3D facial recognition as we see on the iPhones. So with the same heat using the index finger, it took a while to get this one, but we eventually got it. 10 out of 10 on both rounds, and now we're gonna keep things for those icy weather days when we are hitting that winter run, wanting to open up our Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro. So far, things are going okay a little bit slower than usual, actually quite a lot slower, but we are still getting into the phone. So nothing to worry about on those cold winter days and winter nights. You're still gonna be, uh, be able to unlock your Xiaomi device nice and snappy. Now where things get really interesting is when we get to the wet part, because of course you know that the Samsung series phones, since the S10, the initial S10, came paired with an ultrasonic sensor, the first of its kind, and you can use that with any kinds of fingers. I can't wait to do the same test on the new S20 Ultra, to see how it stacks up with wet fingers, icy fingers, hot fingers, and oily fingers as well and see how it compares against the Xiaomi over here. But so far, let's see, this is an optical sensor, not an ultrasonic one. We are not able to unlock it with some water. Oh, there's one time over there. Uh, I've actually sped up the initial 
part of this one because in the second one with our index finger we actually get better results uh, so I can actually show you guys a, a better indication of the speed there because we unlocked it more and not just twice so we're gonna do the same thing put some water around the screen over here maybe we took a swim jumped out the pool and we wanted to quickly unlock our wonderful Mi 10 Pro so we got it one time there this is a hundred percent speed once again so this is real time how you guys are seeing it is how I saw it and it's actually unlocking it takes a little while we actually have water directly on the fingerprint sensor here as we did in the previous one uh, but we're actually getting better results here with the index finger maybe I'm just getting a bit old and my fingerprints are getting a bit worn down with all these tests uh, but yeah if you guys pick up a Mi 10 Pro let me know your results of this similar test it would be really interesting to see how it goes now to talk, talking about speed here, we get pretty much close to a second or just over a second each and every time doing five runs here. And I'm gonna compare it to its biggest rival, Realme. And obviously I don't have the X50 Pro, it's not out yet. So we're gonna compare it to the X2 Pro, but this fingerprint sensor is ridiculously quick. We're talking around 10 milliseconds where the Xiaomi was pretty much a second slower than that. So this is really, really fast. It's a massive difference. I'll get to the final results here. Um, a second and two milliseconds on the Mi 10 Pro average. X2 Pro average was just 9.4 milliseconds. We got 19 out of 20 for the regular, 17 out of 20 with oily fingers, 20 out of 20 with hot fingers, 20 out of 20 with cold fingers as well. That's really good to see, but just nine out of 20 with wet fingers. So don't bank on this, taking your phone out during a rainy day. Total 85 out of 100 guys. I hope you enjoyed this test as much as I did making it. And until next time guys, this is Technic.